right, guys. Surely you guys have all seen when they take tracks and put them on a pickup truck or any other type of vehicle and they're built for snow, they mob through snow. Well, today we're gonna be doing something very similar to that, except on a budget. As you guys saw previously, we put duct tape tires on our SEMA truck, it worked extremely well. Today we're gonna be reusing our duct tape wheels and putting snowmobile tracks around them essentially making homemade snow tires. But first, we need to test out and see how the F-350 does to begin with in the snow, just so that way we have something to compare it to. It's not doing too bad. It's got the clearance, dude. What were you saying about Ford's F? They're great. They're not broken. I, I know you ain't moving that fast. Dude, she's fully locked. It just maxed out on the coolant. I think it's because you got Evan in the back seat. I was thinking that when we hopped in here. I was like, do we really want him in the back? That's when things <laughs> tend to go wrong. You're right. I probably should be in the driver's seat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'd be in the trees. They're running over those little ones over there. I think this is a great example of what it can do with normal tires on it. That should do it. Building some tires. All right, so the plan of attack is, well one, we don't have enough track to go around the wheels with the duct tape the way that it is. And two, these things weigh probably 200 pounds a tire or a wheel at best. It's $4,000 worth of duct tape. I don't if know that, that has anything, anything to do with it. Oh, <laughs> it's a lot of duct tape. So the plan is to take the duct tape off down to the wheel. So there's still a hard spot in the middle to mount it by. And then we're gonna drill holes straight through the wheel and mount them to the wheel with these U-bolts. I, for the record, was a little against drilling through them, but they're gonna be 10 out of 10 sturdy. The hardest you part of this whole video is gonna be removing $4,000 <laughs> worth of duct tape Literally. off these wheels. <laughs> We got the duct tape off. It's time to mount the track up to it. So what we're thinking is we're gonna basically just put the track on, drill holes through the duct tape and then through the wheel and then mount these U-bolts over like that because I mean, you gotta think the wheel is gonna be spinning at like 80 miles per hour. Do not really want these tracks to come off and side swipe the side of the truck. So I'm trying to mount them in there pretty good and uh, I think this should do the trick. got the wheels done. Basically we just took U-bolts and uh, drilled through the wheel, bolted the track down. It really shouldn't be going anywhere, but honestly, I have no idea how well this is gonna work. We're kind of worried about the structural integrity of the wheel, but we'll find out. So next step is basically just mounting these up to the SEMA truck, which is probably gonna look really ridiculous. Yeah, so we're definitely gonna lose some ground clearance, but hopefully we gain some traction. Again, we honestly don't know if this is gonna work. We're, we're just testing it for you guys at home. <laughs> I don't even know really what to say. I can't tell if it's cool or just stupid. This idea sounded a lot better in my head. It made a lot more sense. It's not done yet, I mean. 
No, it is. This, it's done. This I is mean, the final product. You find out if it works, though. I mean, oh. if it doesn't work, then it's really stupid. That's true. This thing was a show truck before. You know, it had big wheels. It had a lot of flash. Now, it's a work truck. It's we, got function. Yeah, we dumbed it down. We made it just work. It's not supposed to be pretty. It's a work truck. That feels like I'm driving a tank. It looks like we just royally messed up on the fitment. <laughs> we just built a big ass truck with tiny little wheels. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, that's bumpy. Perfect. I don't know if I'd say perfect, but it's working pretty good. All right, this thing's ready for the track. Dude, no way! No way! It's working great. I don't want to jinx it. I probably just did, but right now it's working great. You guys, this is straight up a snowcross track, like meant for snowmobiles. That's what's meant for this track. Not a big ass F-350. I tell you what, it sucks a lot less seeing this thing stuck up to the running boards in snow versus mud. I do agree. <laughs> it's still a super nice truck. And we're gonna be selling it after this. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no way. Right in the nose piece of my glasses. <laughs> before we really break something? Yeah, I think, think they consider it a success and go do something else before we do something really expensive. It's probably a good idea. As much as I love driving a truck, it ain't cheap. But luckily today's sponsor, Upside, is here to put money back in my wallet along with your guys's as well. Upside is like a credit card cash back or a royalty program, but you can actually earn up to three times more. You can earn cash back on things like gas, groceries, or dining out. The cash back can go straight into your bank account, your PayPal account, or you can get it in e-gift cards to use it on Amazon or other brands that you use and love. So here's how it works. I just pulled up to the gas station. I'm gonna pull out my Upside app to see if there's any rewards to claim at this exact location. It says that there is and asked me if I'd like to claim. I 
hit yes, and it tells me that I'm gonna get six cents back for every gallon of gas that I put in, or 24 cents back if I were to put in premium. So we've been using Upside for about a year now, and I know it sounds too good to be true, but it's not, and it's super easy to use. I've almost got $75 in cash back in my account already. It's free to download. Go and check it out on the App Store or the Google Play Store, and use the promo code CBOYS to get an additional 25 cents off per gallon of gas on your first tank that you fill up. Thank you, Upside. Now back to the video. Is there anything on the other side here in these little boats? Well, there's a couple trees to the left and a couple trees to the right. So try and avoid those. Other than that, I think you should be good. <laughs> That's better than the first one. Anything I can do, Evan can do better. <laughs> I don't know if Ben even wants to do this, quite frankly. Evan just flat out peer pressured him into it. I also don't know why we're skiing, but it's fun. Yeah! Easy, let's go! Spotted that landed for a while. Rolled it down a couple times. Underflip that one. I'm too focused on not hitting Evan. Hopefully I can do this first try, so you know, so I don't have to do it again. You gotta hold it down for the snowboarders, Mike. I know, dude. I just been living off feet a bank roll. How the saying go? Got it flooded to my ankles. Need a brain cold. Careful. Yeah. Yeah. The rainbow rail has officially been hit on everything. We're running out of stuff to hit this thing on. Now they coming out the woodwork. Built up my own platform. Could say I'm in the woodwork. Made the song go viral. Probably off some footwork. Well, either that or the hook work. Always think of the hook first. Now I got it. Helmet's working. Keep the lights on. I'm on your desktop. I'm an icon. They say icon. Could you put a price on? I said I ain't selling nothing. These are my songs. I'm good. So we're going to push some snow up build up the lip a little bit, and hopefully be able to jump the smart car. By we, I mean mostly Evan, but we'll see how it goes. Do you think that you can jump the smart car or like ride on the top of the smart car? Um, That all depends on how Ryan's jump looks. But one way or the other, we're gonna go over it, even if we run into it. Through the windshield. <laughs> Sitting in the driver's seat. Yeah. The hell? Think, man, we're gonna be soaring up there. We're gonna be soaring somewhere. Looking at it from the side, you realize that that is like 12 feet tall. Yeah! Real nice. I don't know, I feel like it needs a little bit more lip. Right now, it's like pretty much sending you into the front grill of the smart car. Yeah, you pop. We need to go faster. <laughs> we need 10 more miles per hour, I think. Dude, I think you might need 20. I think I just hit someone. <laughs> yeah! Oh my gosh! Just trying to steal Evan's thunder or what? No, I don't want to do this at all. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that was sick! Let's go! First try! Let's go! So, we've been doing a lot of pool games around here that revolve around money, and there's been an issue. They don't have cash on them. So it's like this whole IOU system, and I haven't been getting paid. I came up with a solution to the problem, okay? Thank you for uh, picking this up for me. Nice. Is that an ATM? Yes. So I got an ATM, it is? and there's gonna be a five dollar fee on oh it too. Oh my gosh! Wait, are you making the money on that? Well, yeah, I'm the one who bought the ATM machine. <laughs> I legit didn't even know you could just buy an ATM. This is my new business. Hey, hold up! Is this stolen? Hold on! Is this a stolen <laughs> ATM? Is there money in it? Well, Tint's the one who got it for me, so it might be. But all right, Tint. I, you got something else? It's like full on regulation bar dartboard. For Mark and I. This is the last thing we need. We're basically just turning our pine room over there into a bar slash casino. Get a good picture of this. I'm gonna go back to this in 10 years. CJ's first ATM. You're a lot more excited about this than we are. <laughs> yeah, man, this is great. We're, at, we're actually doing fives, huh? Yeah, dude. You guys can't even bring any money. You think I'm gonna do 20s? You need friends like Tint and also Mark. He's not here right now, but not only does he find me an ATM in two days and deliver it here, but he also surprises us with a dartboard. Like, I mean, 
Good friends, good friends. Yeah. What's the code? Don't worry about that. I'll. I'll... <laughs> no, I'm excited. People can pay me now, right up front. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is BS. Thank you. Venmo. Now That's the what money. I've been saying. The yeah, way CJ is making money. You're the one that gets the ATM fee on this end. I'm the fucking one who bought it. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> A five dollar fee. <laughs> That's what you get for not having any money. Well, yeah, we're not gonna afterwards either. <laughs> so you shouldn't be gambling then. Look at that, nice. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Wait, that's 40. 10, 20, 30, 5. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it immediately takes it just the $5 took the $5 <laughs> right from me. Can you Hey, pleasure doing business with you. Another happy customer. <laughs>